All right, all right, all right. We are back with the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here every Monday through Friday here to talk here to talk about professional wrestling, all the action inside and outside of the ring. Also, uh, backstage curtain drama, superstar news, updates, injuries, contract statuses, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, make sure you tune in. We talk about everything from AEW to WWE to you know Ring of Honor, TNA. And, uh, you know, NXT, obviously the NXT is becoming its own entity, so we got to start saying NXT. Uh, so, I don't know, anything about professional wrestling, of course, if you guys have a burning question, make sure you hit up the chat. Would absolutely love to hear from you guys a thousand and ten percent. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our second segment. But before we do any of that, um, definitely a thousand and ten percent want to remind you guys to use this uh, super chat box. Um, we get a number of questions from viewers like you that come in during the show. If you got a burning question or a hot take in terms of professional wrestling, you can share it. If you're dying to share, we are all ears. This show is all about keeping the conversation lively, keeping the party going, making sure your voice is part of the mix. So don't be shy. Drop in your thoughts in the chat. And if you really want to make sure your comments or questions gets noticed, why not use that super chat box? Just hit the dollar sign below the chat box, send in your message, and it's guaranteed to be featured on the show. Plus, it's a great way to support our channel. 1,010%. Your super chats help us keep the lights on and bring you even more awesome wrestling content that you love so much. We are so grateful for each and every one of you guys who joins us here. Your support makes a lot of the difference. So let's keep the conversation going. Send in those super chats, super stickers, because you guys are super awesome. And, um, you know, together we can make this show a hell of a lot better. And if the super chat, you know, obviously, if that's not your thing, obviously, you can hit up the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. You know, give me your comments, questions, and concerns. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, you know, give me some, um, you know, hardcore takes on professional wrestling. I love, I love talking about some hardcore takes about professional wrestling. So, you know, definitely love hearing con- conflicting, um, con- you know, just views in terms of professional wrestling. Just, um, you know, keeps the thing going. I like to kind of see this podcast as like, you know, you kind of walk up to a bar, you're watching wrestling, and then like, you know, even if they do have the wrestling on top of the tube, usually, you know, it's kind of crazy. Usually, like if you go on a late Monday night when there's not Monday night football, and if it's not baseball season or basketball season, they always usually play, you know, some, I don't know, they just play Sports Center, and you're like, dude, turn on some Monday night raw, dude. Like, come on. But you know, you just pull up a saddle net up next some next to somebody and just want to, you know, break up a conversation, you know, buy them a drink, hang out, chill. And, you know, you just talk about some wrestling. You know, you can watch this podcast, you can hang out and, you know, think of me as, a, you know, that guy at the bar stool next to you. Be like, hey, like, who? totally talk to this guy. This guy's not weird at all. Definitely not weird. Maybe a little weird. I'm just kidding. No. Uh, but <laughs> here at the GSMC Sports Network, we do love you guys. We, um, you know, remember, remember the Superman punch that like a subscribe button to the show. Follow the show. Follow the network. It's the best sports network around. So uh, I give you the Eric Rodriguez guarantee that you will never, ever regret hitting that subscribe button. All right. So let's talk about Thursday night wrestling. It's Thursday. You know what that means? Ring of I'm just kidding. No, it's not low. But then again, it is owned by Tony Khan. So maybe um, you know, maybe a little bit more uh more excitement in terms of uh you know Ring of Honor. But with there's a it's a you know jam-packed night of championship action is underway tonight on Honor Club. So um yeah, let's do it. Ring of Honor World Championship match. We have Mark Briscoe taking on Johnny TV. Um, you know, I, I like Johnny TV. It's I feel like he kind of had his 15 minutes of uh, fame already inside the WWE. And, you know, he kind of came back hot, you know, from the ind- independent wrestling scene. And people thought he was going to be more. Ended up teaming up with The Miz again, have a tag team title run. And then once again, it kind of, you know, kind of fizzled out. Like, you know, not, you know, kind of throwing shade at his talent or anything like that. At the In terms of professional wrestling, it is a very cutthroat industry. And people are coming in. From absolutely anywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean absolutely anywhere. You know, from countries all over the world. From England, from Germany, from France, from you know, Spain, Puerto Rico, you name it. You know, they 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 all love professional wrestling. You know, in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, you know, uh, there's a long list of people who've been watching wrestling since it, you know, kind of got its hype back in the 80s. Back when it was like 80s wrestling. But, you know, this match is going to be great. I feel like it's going to be a nice way for um, uh, Johnny TV to kind of, you know, show that he's still 
a contender in the main event kind of card area. Does he have a chance against Mark Mark Briscoe? I think no way. This is one championship match that Mark Briscoe is going to fight. That I I feel confident saying that yeah, this I think the dude's gonna win. You know what I mean? My dog. Um, you know, I was a little skeptical about Kyle Fletcher because Kyle Fletcher was doing so damn good. Uh, Mark Briscoe was able to pick up the victory. And then we had Roderick Strong take on Mark Briscoe at uh, Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. And then, you know, just uh, two days earlier, we saw Mark Briscoe participate in that um, in that hellacious, just that crazy ass. Like, oh, my God. It was it was insane. It was like, a you know, it was uh, blood and guts, blood and guts match against uh, the elite. But all in all, it was, uh, you know, he was able to pick up the victory. And it, it was an absolute shock. I was like, damn, this guy's, a, this guy's a beast. This guy's a beast. But you know why Ring of Honor keeps the title on this guy? is that he's just electric. You hear him talking on the mic. You see him inside the ring performing. This guy's jumping off the chairs. He's doing backflips off the top rope from the apron. This guy literally doesn't. He he literally puts everything on the line to entertain the fans. And you know, I think Ring of Honor couldn't have gotten any luckier with Mark Briscoe. And obviously, before you know, before he passed away, Jay Briscoe, the Briscoe brothers, definitely, you know, wrestling royalty, a thousand and ten percent. Some of the best wrestling I've ever seen in my lifetime as a professional wrestling fan. So, you know, definitely think a thousand and ten percent uh Mark Briscoe is going to uh, you know retain his championship tonight. Next, we have a World uh, TV Championship match. We have Atlantis Jr. taking on TMDK's Robbie Eagles. I think TMDK, I think it needs a little exposure. You know, it's been a while. You had Atlantis Jr. dethrone Kyle Fletcher, which was absolutely, it was shocking. I thought it was shocking 1,010% from the CMLL. But, you know, with this new merger, with this new merger, I just... uh you know, uh, recently you saw Mercedes Monet become a double champion. She is the New Japan Professional Wrestling Strong. Then you had, um, uh, you also had Willow of Nightingale win the CMLL World Women's Champion. So they're not afraid to mix belts here. They're not afraid to mix belts here whatsoever. I think, you know, I, you know, Atlantis Jr., he's had a great run. I feel like he's had a great run. If I had to make a, you know, a shocking, a shocking prediction, I would, I, I think Robbie Eagles would get the win because the TMDK, you know, obviously numbers play. And right now, Atlantis Jr., I think right now kind of has the, you know, stacks against him here. But, you know, he's a great wrestler. I, you know, can't really take anything away from Atlantis. But I don't know. I just feel like, uh, you know, it would create more buzz to kind of have the title go across, um, you know, kind of company lines here. I think that would be, a, you know, kind of be pretty badass. All right. Next we have. We have Ring of Honor World Six-Man Championship match. Dustin Rhodes teaming up with the Bond Erics, the champions, Marshall and Ross, taking on Cage of Agony, Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Bishop Khan. This is going to be the ultimate. This is going to be an ultimate test. This is going to be a great test for Dustin Rhodes, the Bond Erics, the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Champions, because these guys are some dudes. Brian Cage is, uh, you know, he's right there. I feel like he's so close to becoming part of this main event kind of caliber you know uh you know stardom that he needs to reach i feel like he should have reached it before but i i know like he kind of had his moments where he could have been you know he could have been better than ever but yeah you know, i don't know i don't know if it was bad booking i don't know if it was in terms of uh you know creative you know uh d- dilemmas or anything like that but all overall brian cage is a he's a star he's a star the leader of cage at uh, cage of agony uh, it'd be crazy. It'd be an amazing, you know, way to pick up the win here. So, you know, should be pretty awesome. Dustin Rhodes and Yvonne Eriks have been busy men in the last couple of weeks after winning the Eliminator match at Death Before Dishonor 2024 to earn a spot in the Ring of Honor World Six Man Championship match. They made most of their moment and defeated the Undisputed Kingdom at Battle of the Belts to become new champions. Just five days later, the trio. From Texas, made their defense from a newly won titles against the Iron Savages. Then last week, Dustin teamed up with Sammy Garva to to beat Dark Order in a tag team match. So, you know, Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes still at his age, ready for a retirement tour. But he says he wants to retire on his time. Not so much talking about um, uh, when this contract ends or anything like that. Or even before that. Or even before that. And I think after the legacy that he's left inside professional wrestling, either if it was WWE, 
AEW, Ring of Honor, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, he has the right to do that. I think a thousand ten percent. But you know, I think they're gonna pick up the victory here. I think they're gonna, you know, I think they're gonna bounce back. I think they're gonna bounce. They're gonna they're gonna hit it. They're gonna hit it tonight. The next we have a one on one match. We have Arya Davari taking on Katsuyuri Shibata. Uh, Shibata recently has been kind of within the whole, uh, you know, hook learning tree kind of drama here. And he's, you know, he's had his hands full with Chris Jericho, the Bad Apple, Brian Keith, and the Big Redwood, Big Bill, over on AEW Dynamite Rampage and Collision. Um, with book coming with Hook coming back in action, I I, I think that's huge for Shibata. Now he can kind of, you know, kind of, you know, stop looking over his uh, shoulders, so to speak, so much. Uh, obviously, Hook is going to watch his back, but, you know, they're outnumbered right now. They are outnumbered. You had Chris Jericho drive Samoa Joe through a wall. You know, Samoa Joe was hanging on the, you know, he was he was laying on the forklift. He was literally written off, uh, you know, uh, bring, uh, AEW television because he's off uh, uh, filming the second season of Twisted Me- uh, Metal, which is, you know, pretty cool. I like that. I think that's a thousand ten percent pretty badass. But, you know, uh, kind of starting something between the pyramid athletes here. It'd be interesting to see, like, them go at it like trios. Um, you know, the wrestler has tangled with smart Mark Sterling's clients before on the June 22nd edition of Collision. Um, it, it's, it, you know, Shibata has had a lot of success in New Japan professional wrestling. Now... It seems he needs a bounce back match. He really, really honestly needs a bounce back match. But, um, you know, it's not as as a breeze as you think it is. Davari's uh, he's a phenomenal athlete. Obviously, he can do things inside the ring that other wrestlers, you know, that other wrestlers can't. Never really gets to credit. So, you know, I I watched highlights of this guy on Ring of Honor, uh, you know, ringofhonor.com. And it's, I don't know. I just think a lot of people don't really give him. Obviously, you have Tony Nese. He's the dude. But, you know, so got to give some credit to, to Davari here a little bit. And I think Katsuyuri Shibata is going to have his hands full, 1,010%. Next, we have Griff Garrison with Maria taking on um, SAP Serpentico. Ser- I always say that wrong. Serpentico. 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 I think that's pretty We have a Proving Ground match. Ring around a pure champion lead. Um, major- majority. Mayority uh, against Action Andretti. We also have words from Ring of Honor World Women's Champion, the Fallen Goddess Athena, Harley Cameron uh, versus Viva Van, Blake Christian against Leo Rush, Anthony Henry going against um, Anthony Henry and Beef in action. So, you know, got that to look forward to as well. All right, TNA. We have a first, we have first class taking on Sammy Callahan and Rhino. Steve Maxlin taking on the newly signed Zy, uh, Zion from WWE. I, I want to see what this newcomer has in store. I, I You know, I like Zion. I thought he was pretty cool. Um, he's a, you know, very decorated athlete outside the WWE. Uh, he was a professional rugby player, I think. I, yeah, I think he was a professional rugby player. I think that's badass, 1,010%. Percent. We're going to witness the fallout from PCO and Stephanie Lander's wedding. Jordan Grace has an open challenge. Joe Hendry battling NXT's Wolfgang. Plus here, Josh Alexander and much more. Rick Swan with AJ Francis take on Reverso. Um, I think we also, no, I think, uh, no, I think we also have, dang it. I think we also have a match tonight. We also have a Ring of Honor uh, match. Uh, we have Josh Alexander. Taking on the TNA World Champion um, uh, Nick Nemeth in a match tonight, so that should be pretty badass. And then, of course, um, like I said, we'll hear from Jordan Grace. Uh, we have Emergence X, Ultimate X, Austin, Poach, and Swan. Emergent X. Also, we have Chris Bay, John Skyler, and Riley Osborne from NXT. Uh, we have Tasha Steele, Giselle Shaw. We also have Mike Santana against um, the leader of the system, Moose. We'll hear from Steve Macklin. And then the main event, we will have Nick Nemeth against Josh Alexander. So all good stuff. It should be amazing. Obviously, TNA has been on fire lately. So um, I don't know. It should be, uh, should be pretty crazy. should be awesome to see. All right. So now we're going to move on to our third segment. We're going to talk about Joe Henry. We're going to talk about uh, the fu- his future uh, he wants to be an NXT world champion. He admitted that against Ethan Page on 
NXT. So let's go ahead and dive and talk about it. Let's talk about the legacy that Joe Henry, Joe Hendry has had so far, you know, debuting the WWE. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Uh, so, Hey, stay tuned. <laughs> 